Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPUNet's video series on C++ and today's topic is Multi-Level Inheritance in C++. So as the name says, multi-level, so we will be having more than one level. So this is multi-level inheritance. Let's make this A, B and C. And when it is single level, single level is this one, A and B. So this is single, this is multi-level and multi-level will have n number of levels okay so number is not defined but if it is in this hierarchy then it is multi-level so let's look at this definition here if derived class is again derived into some another class then it is called multi-level inheritance so here if you will see in the single inheritance this is your derived class and this is your base class and here it is telling that if derived class is again derived here this is derived class but we are not deriving it further but in this case this is also a derived class and we are deriving it further and this is also a derived class and we are deriving it further okay in this one so when there is this type of design or class hierarchy you will call it multi-level okay and if you have watched my previous video which is talking about what is is a relationship and what is has a relationship you'll be able to understand this point very well. So we only derive a class when we can satisfy is a relationship with base class. So what is is a relationship? It is nothing but let's suppose there is some class vehicle and there is another class car. You can inherit this vehicle inside car because you can say that car is a type of vehicle. So there is this is a relationship followed. Okay, that's why you're inheriting it. But this is not true in reverse order. Okay, it means you cannot inherit car inside vehicle and say that vehicle is a car. No, you will inherit vehicle inside car. And this is how it works. Car is a vehicle. That's why I'm inheriting this vehicle inside car. And if you will see the example here, we have this animal, cat and Russian blue cat. So this is one specific type of cat. So what would be the diagram for this class yes exactly i have put it in the correct order so first it will be animal okay and then cat is an animal and this russian blue is a cat so you will inherit cat inside russian blue so this is how it should be cat is animal so you're inheriting animal inside cat and then russian blue is a cat and can you see one hidden message here that this Russian blue is indirectly inheriting this animal also because Russian blue is a type of cat and it is an animal. Okay, so hierarchy goes like this. You will put something very general on top and then down the hierarchy, you will keep on placing the concrete ones. Okay, because if you'll say animal, then there is a very big field. But if you'll see cat, you have some picture in your mind, right? I, I mean, you had picture in this time also, but you had so many pictures. There was nothing to specify, but cat. Now you have a picture that what cat looks like. Now this is the most concrete one, what you're talking about. Okay. So this is how it should be. So I'll write the code and we'll see how it goes. So we will use public animal and here you will inherit public cat this is how it should be okay exactly how it is here now if you're wondering why i'm using public and why i'm not using protected or private it's up to you if you don't know what is the difference between public protected and private inheritance i mean modes of inheritance watch the introduction part of this series you will get it okay or tell me if i have not included the link in the description field or you will get the link somewhere here so this is a very simple example there is nothing to discuss only one important thing is this part the most general thing will come on top and then less generals will come in this hierarchy and keep this in his i mean is a relationship in your mind there are two relationship is a and has a 
So if you are not sure what is this is a and has a relationship, I have a video for that and you will get the link in this area here. So for multi-level inheritance, this is enough to understand. So thanks for watching and if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you will get the notification for upcoming videos like this. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,